Greetings, my friends. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to thank all of my channel members for supporting me in this endeavor to save pop culture. And if you are not subscribed, please consider supporting this channel. We need you. Thank you. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and today I bring you news that is spreading like wildfire through the trades this morning, as Bob Iger is reportedly pulling the trigger on a fresh round of Disney layoffs this week, and Disney employees across all divisions are hunkering down, laying as low as they can, and smearing cheese over their office doors in the hope that the grim squeaker may pass them by. Folks, although this was the inevitable consequence of a company that appears to care more about spreading political propaganda than making profit for investors and shareholders, no one likes it when someone loses their job. In some cases, these woke employees have contributed substantially to the failure of Disney, at least in the entertainment divisions, so to some extent, this purge of woke wastes of space is something that absolutely needs to happen if Disney is ever going to have any hope whatsoever of creating anything approximating entertainment again. That said, in other cases, the layoffs will hit employees who really aren't to blame at all for the stupidity of the executives and the board, who continue to smack audiences in the head with a rainbow-colored baseball bat, not understanding that when it comes to profits, DEI is really spelled D-I-E. Now the piper has come to be paid for all the woke wankery, the gaslighting, and the not at all secret gay agenda of Disney, and inevitably the price is being paid not by the executives and the board, but the employees. As they always say, shit rolls downhill, dude. People like Kennedy fail upwards, and the rest have to hide from the grim squeaker. They used to say Disneyland was the happiest place on Earth, to which I reply, I feel sorry for the rest of the world. I know, right? But what are you going to do when Disney continues to insist on cannibalizing their own classic properties, devouring classic movies like The Little Mermaid, and turning them into cinematic excrement? My God, how stupid these people are. If you're wondering why Disney has fallen so far and why these layoffs are happening, just look at The Little Mermaid as one glaring example. They're taking an animated movie that was perfect in every possible way, and they're turning it into a live-action woke propaganda training film where Ariel is no longer a pale redhead, she's a stunning brave woman of color, and the ironic part of it is, while they've made Ariel a mermaid of color, they've drained all the rest of the color out of Ariel's undersea world, making it look as drab and sorry as the script, which is just pathetic. Indeed, just to emphasize how stunning and brave Ariel is, reportedly Disney has changed the ending of The Little Mermaid, eliminating the heroism of Prince Eric and having Ariel steer the ship toward Ursula in the climactic confrontation. Yay, girl power, you go, Slay Queen! Bit by bit, piece by piece, Disney chips away at its own legacy, eroding the enthusiasm of the public towards the Disney brand and whittling down its own IPs until they're a splinter of their former selves. Because now, you see, kids won't know what Ariel even looks like. Is she a redhead? A person of color? This is one hell of a way to water down your own intellectual property, but this kind of crap is happening constantly at Disney these days. And while the causes of Disney's financial woes are a complex web of bad decisions, economic pressures, and political missteps, you can't say with a straight face that acts of cultural vandalism like these haven't brought about this latest round of employee layoffs. Indeed, it doesn't take a Harvard Business School graduate to discern a connection between a business creating products that don't sell and a business losing money. One need not employ Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, and the Mystery Machine crew to figure that out. If you're playing Justin Bieber at a roller skating rink and people flee for the exits, stop playing Justin Bieber. You're welcome, Disney. And yet, Skull of Calderon, Disney executives continue making the same mistakes over and over again, even as they're forced to fire more employees this week, and the employees are paying the price for Disney's lack of vision. 
In an article titled, Second Wave of Disney Layoffs Coming This Week, The Hollywood Reporter writes, quote, Another round of layoffs at the Walt Disney Company will begin this week, and it will impact every corner of the company. Disney sources say the latest round will begin today and continue through Thursday and will include cuts at Disney Entertainment, ESPN, Disney Parks, Experiences and Products, and elsewhere, impacting employees in California, New York, Connecticut, and other places. The frontline operations roles at Disney's theme parks and hotels are not expected to be impacted. By the end of the week, the company is expected to have cut about 4,000 jobs, the sources say. In February, Disney CEO Bob Iger told employees and Wall Street analysts that the company expected to eliminate a total of 7,000 roles. A third round of cuts is expected before summer. An ESPN source said that on-air talent is not expected to be significantly impacted by the cuts this week or the third round in the coming weeks. Rather, the company is expected to take a close look at its on-air talent roster after the third round of layoffs, choosing not to renew some deals, cut others, or make other tweaks to its roster of hosts and contributors." Unquote. And so, not even ESPN is safe from the scythe of the grim squeaker. And ESPN, unlike Marvel or Lucasfilm, makes content that people actually want to watch. Sports are an evergreen source of income, and ESPN is a profit center for Disney. Probably because ESPN isn't remaking the Red Sox winning the World Series with an all-female cast and new songs by Lin-Manuel Miranda. That helps ESPN for sure, Harvey Cthulhu. And it would help Disney as well to stop doing cinematic sex change operations on themselves. But I doubt that will ever happen, alas, and these layoffs are one of the consequences of Disney's obsession with making PSAs over blockbusters. According to The Hollywood Reporter, quote, While Disney will be more than halfway to its target of 7,000 jobs by the end of the week, there are still many decisions that need to be made, and the cuts this week are expected to be deep, unquote. For your edification and amusement, my friends, here is the memo that greeted Disney employees this morning when they came into work, a memo composed by Disney Entertainment co-chairpersons Dana Walden and Alan Bergman. Quote, Team, as you all know, a few weeks ago the company began notifying employees whose roles are impacted as part of our overall business realignment and cost savings efforts. We wanted to share that notifications will continue in many areas of the company over the next several days. In addition, restructuring in various businesses will continue for the next couple of months, and we do anticipate there will be further impacts before the summer as previously shared. Each team is in a different place in this process, and your leaders will be sharing more context for your group soon. These are hard decisions, and not ones we take lightly. But every decision has been made with considerable thought, and we are doing everything we can to make sure this process is conducted with respect and compassion. The senior leadership teams have been working diligently to define our future organization, and our biggest priority has been getting this right, rather than getting it done fast. We recognize that it has been a period of uncertainty, and thank you all for your understanding and patience. This is a time of transition for Disney, and these changes affect everyone, whether or not your role is impacted. We are committed to supporting you through this period and encourage you to reach out to your leader or HR partner with any questions or for guidance as needed. While we are confident that these efforts will better position us for the future, we realize this all takes a toll. We want to acknowledge the impact of this moment and simply reiterate our appreciation for all of you and the passion and dedication you brought to the work we do every day. And for those who will be leaving the company, please know that your contributions are valued and appreciated. You have all played a meaningful role in making Disney what it is today. Well, perhaps that is the problem. With gratitude, Alan and Dana. So there you have it, my friends. The grim squeaker prowls the halls of Disney and ESPN yet again this week, and heads are rolling as employees pay the price for the failures of their corporate masters. How long, I wonder, before Iger, Kennedy, and Feige are smearing cheese 
over their office doors. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha, 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 ha.